Minecraft 1.19 aka the world update is soon gonna add frogs to the game but you know what'd be great? A frog type we could weaponize like poisoned out frogs so that's what we're doing today and this is actually where I say I actually lied because this took me more than two weeks so if you do enjoy consider showing your appreciation of the video and enjoy. So currently all we have in the mod is just this spawn egg which as you guessed spawns a poison dart frog. Now, it doesn't do anything yet, it just doesn't have an AI, and it also has no sound, so <laughs> let's get working on that. <laughs> okay, so I don't think that's exactly the type of movement we want for these frogs. <laughs> but it still looks very funny on the left. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've coded a little AI gold which should make them jump around, theoretically. And let's see if it works. It does, okay, it, it does work, okay, amazing. Now, as you can see, that frog is always going to be facing the right, the same direction. They, I think they all do, yeah. Okay, so now I've made it so when they jump, they actually look in the direction they jump. So let's test that and see if it works, and... Uh, okay, the, the, why? Why? I make you face a random direction every time you jump. Why don't we use, why, why won't you switch? So, okay, so, so it does work. Setting the value works, but for some reason, whenever they jump, it just doesn't apply? What? <laughs> okay, so it turns out there was two values I needed to set in order for them to face the right direction. But now, I finally found it. After an hour and 30 minutes. But okay, finally it works and they look the right way. And they also look very cute with that little animation when they jump around. So, yeah, that's perfect now. So now we have another problem. As you can see, they cannot jump very, very far. Because they just get stopped by the air drag. They just try to jump, but then the air drag stops their velocity. Which is not good. So, uh, let's try and remove that. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh! Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> no! Where are you going? <laughs> That's actually interesting. Look at this. It has a spiral pattern. It spins around. <laughs> the Exodus. Uh. The cave exodus. Okay, I did something disgusting. I made it so whenever they're in the air, they have no drag, but when they're on the ground, they have the normal drag. Which means that their jumps are now, if you'll jump, there you go, they jump much, much further. Now, I've also noticed that the way I coded them is basically whenever they try to travel around, instead of moving around and just walking to it, they just try to jump to it. But uh, they tend to overshoot. Basically, the, the only other block they can travel to on these two blocks is this one. So they try to jump on this one, which means that no matter what you do... Uh... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> and now there sounds perfect. Oh, that's, uh, that's what I thought. They, uh, they can't swim. <laughs> There we go, that's much better. Now they have a swimming animation. Look how cute they look. They look so cute when swimming. Get on the shore. There we go. Okay, so you know how you can have an axle oil in a bucket whenever you want to pick it up and just to carry it around, like, you know, like that. Well, I figured, why not give you the ability to transport these frogs? Now, I don't think they would need a bucket because, remember, they're actually pretty small in real life and they wouldn't need any water, so instead, I opted for the bowl. And, uh, wow, they just took my entire stack of ball, that's not... <laughs> so instead, I opted for the ball. So if you want to pick up a poison dart frog... There you have it. Now, naturally, you can also put them back where they are, just pick them up again. But my favorite part still has to be... The licking. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, when you do that, you naturally get poisoned. Now, there are six variants of frogs, so I decided to make six very different poisons. Oh, and naturally, I put the frog balls in the food keg, alright. Hey, the buffer fish is in there, I don't make the rules, alright? So the first effect that came to mind was a deadly lethal poison, that's what poisoned dart frogs are known for. Now, there's one thing that bothers me with poison in Minecraft. For some reason, protection 4 protects you from it, so I decided that I'm just gonna make a poison that bypasses Everything. So I'm currently equipped in a full netherite protection 4 armor and uh, let's do some tests. So this is what normally poison would do to you. Our health bar doesn't even budge. It's it's gonna stay the same. But now, if we try licking a golden poison dart frog, 
as you can see, I'm regenerating health, but apart from that, uh... Wait, this is gonna kill me. <laughs> and of course, a custom death message. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit too much. For the second effect, I wanted to base myself on the blue poison dart frog venom, which has some paralytic properties, so naturally, I went for a coma effect. Now, as you can see, my screen is all black, I cannot do anything, and the best of all, I cannot even press space, open the chat, I, 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 I cannot even combat log. But as an added bonus to compensate for your inability to do literally anything or see anything, uh, your health regenerates. Because you're in a coma and regenerative sleep and I don't know, it just works, alright? <laughs> oh, and if by any chance you end up taking damage while you're in a coma, don't worry about it because you'll snap out of it. Now, as I just mentioned, I originally wanted to go for paralysis, which I, the first idea was to freeze the player's camera, which had some interesting results. That's, uh, I, I cannot even, oh, I can go back to first person, uh, you can see that, what the, this, <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> For the third effect, I decided to go with something that I felt was missing from Minecraft. You know, we have speed and slowness, we have strength and weakness, and we have resistance and nothing else. So that's exactly what I did. The third effect is vulnerability, so if we approach this zombie, You'll see it deals to us two hearts of damage, but now if we lick that frog and get vulnerability, now it deals us three hearts of damage. Of course, we can ramp up the effect. This is only level one. If we wanted to go for something like level two, uh, we'd now take four hearts of damage by one zombie, and uh, that would be pretty efficient in PvP. Next, I figured why not add an effect that blocks health regeneration, so that's exactly what the next effect, Torpor, does. Oh god, it looks so depressed. Now as you can see, my health bar is now yellow, and whenever I try to eat anything... No health regeneration. Now, you may think, oh, it's just like, you know, ultra hardcore, it's not that bad. Well, um... It's... it's any health regeneration. Even with golden apples, and even enchanted golden apples, uh, it won't go up. Don't worry, you can, uh... Still take damage. <laughs> now, originally, when I chose this name for this effect, I thought torpor was just a synonym of lethargy. But turns out, that's actually something similar to a hibernating state that some animals use in order to conserve their food reserves. Now, since blocking all health regeneration is pretty harsh, I decided to add regenerative saturation as a counter effect. It's not good, but in a pickle, if you don't have any food left, lick a frog. Oh, don't actually, please don't. Don't lick poison dart frogs. Don't take me to court. Don't quote me on that, please. I beg. The fifth effect, stimulation, does a few things, so I'm gonna break them down to you. The first thing you'll notice is that upon licking the frog, I get a speed boost. And I can also sprint with my food bar below three, which is not something you're supposed to do. Now, on top of being able to sprint and swim while exhausted, your food bar won't move. And any action that would normally drain your food bar, instead, will drain your health. For every half and good point you'd lose, you lose an entire heart instead. Basically, y uh, PDs. <laughs> well, naturally, if you do happen to have hunger, uh, it'll be even more deadly. <laughs> now, I kept the best effect for last, and this one is numbness. Basically, the way it works is that it will freeze your heart into place, and whenever you take damage, you will not actually receive that damage, you will just be invincible. However, what I didn't tell you, that damage is not lost, it's just accumulated, and when the effect runs out, you take all the damage at once. This is honestly my favorite effect. If you manage to infect somebody else, you can deal a lot of damage in very small time. You can also use it on yourself as well, if you need to do something, and you need to push through the pain, and just need those 20 seconds of extra life before dying and resting in peace, you can have them. Look at this. I'm alive. Even milk and clearing your effects with commands, uh, won't help. There's no running away from it. Now, I figured if you're dedicated enough to, you know, lick a deadly poison dart frog, well, you should at least get a pat on the back. So, of course, <laughs> I, I, I added advancements. <laughs> Now, in real life, touching poison dart frogs is not that dangerous. It's only dangerous if you touch your face after that, or if the poison gets into your bloodstream through an open wound. Now, originally, I wanted to make it so whenever you approach them a bit too much and your health is quite low, you have a chance of getting infected. But you know, I figured we already have the puff fish that's extremely annoying with a similar feature, so instead, I opted for something a little more simple. So yeah, whenever you hit a poison dart frog, you get the effect just like if you were licking it, and uh, I know they are extremely cute and most of you won't want to attack them, but for the few that would like to do so, 
Hopefully that discourages you. Uh, now that I've showcased all of these effects, you may be thinking to yourself, but Rat, all of these effects suck. Why would I ever want to lick a poison dart frog? And why did you spend so much time coding them if you can't even use them on your enemies? Well, that's the thing. You can. You know, after all, these frogs are called poison dart frogs, so obviously... I'm gonna add some poison darts. Now, these throwing darts can be stacked and also used as weapon, just like they are, although they have the efficiency of just punching someone. And I know this is extremely unexpected and unpredictable, but you can actually use the throwing darts on the poison dart frogs to coat them with poison. And just like you would expect, each and every frog gives its own poison. Now, these are extremely potent and powerful, so obviously I'm trying here, but you cannot stack them. And as you would expect, you just throw them by right-clicking them. <laughs> just, just like that. But see, the PvP applications for these poison darts are actually incredible, so uh... Let me get some actual players. So let's get into the spa's jungle. I have some uh, some interesting critters there to uh, showcase to you guys. Look, we're good. <gasps> hey, eight, hit this one. Yeah. Hit the blue one. Okay. I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't lose <laughs> my game. Hey, Moria, hit hit the yellow one. But why? I see. Have a ball. I say no more. You can use this. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not supposed to use it this way. Oh. <laughs> uh, Moria, Moria. Uh, 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 mm. <laughs> Fear. I you am. know what? No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! Fight! No. I'm alive. Yes, you are. You're really strong. Am I gonna Moria. die as soon as this runs out? No, why would you... Why would you die? You're numb to anything and everything. And the effect is green, just like... <laughs> I'm fine. Ah. Dude, nothing's wrong. I'm gonna live. Literally, this is the best day of my life. Things could not be better. Alright, see you guys. <laughs> oh my god, the collection of frogs you had. Oh. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> I love how darts fly as well. They they look so weird. <laughs> Mario's just gonna use them at throwing darts. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is all gonna hit me at once. I have numbness. Oh! <laughs> there goes half my health. Oh, nice. I win. <laughs> ah! What? No! No! Yes. No. Okay. Okay, now Stop I have it. some time That's to so think. Mean. You're I so have... mean. Just sleeping. It's just floating. This isn't fair. <laughs> this is. Did you just hit me again? Oh, no. I knew it. Um, wait, 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 wait one second. You... Wait one second. Why are you facing uh, down for me? Yeah, that's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, Moria, you want to go against me? No, my torpo dart. I need it. I'm to help. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, go. Are we just not using frogs or what? No, we are. Let's Dang go. It. <laughs> I gave you vulnerability. You already had numbness, did you? Yeah, I already had numbness. No, my frog! No! No, you <laughs> fucking dotted it! No, my frog! My frog! My frog! My frog! No, my frog! My frog! No, 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 no! This really is just a surprise surgery dart. Hey, Moria, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you sleeping? We Wait, got why are you... each other. What the f- No! No. It doesn't work on the wither. No, the frogs! That's what do you think of my strider? <laughs> what the f did you do? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, but wait. Before you go, there's two things I need to tell you. First, if you do like what you see, you can download the mod for free in the description. And second, if you love the mod so much that you decide to donate to support me, I kept the best feature for last. You can put frogs on your head.